Hello. ¿Y ahora cómo se escucha? Escucha el sonidito así, pero al fondo. Y les molesta bastante el sonido. Por lo mismo, probablemente. No sé, creo que quizás sí son mis audífonos. So, how do you feel? <coughs> ¿Les duelen los oídos? ¿Les molesta bastante? Si no, voy a ir a conseguir otros audífonos. So, what do you think? Solo se escucha como que fueran grillos. <laughs> okay. Sí. Okay. Se, le escucha, se le escucha bien, teacher. O sea, no, no interfiere. Con... No mucho. Ah, pero sí hay grillos. Sí hay grillos por acá. No sé si esos son los que están oyendo. Probablemente. Ah, ok. So, ok. Sí, eh. Afuera hay grillos, yo creo que sí. Ok. Uh, sorry. Ok. So, in that case, we will continue. So, guys, I'm going to share the book. Oh, wait. We will continue with an activity. And with this activity, you have to take notes, okay? It's going to be a dictation. That's the, the one that we will do. You can use the notebook or you can use the chat, okay? Any of those two. You have to write down the sentences I will tell you. Tienen que escribir las oraciones que les voy a dictar. Ready? Okay, so number one. I am thinking about you. I'm thinking about you. Yes, one more time. I'm thinking about you. Okay. Number two. I am washing the car on Saturday. I am washing the car on Saturday. Ready? Okay, number three. He is checking the report. He is checking the report. Next, we are visiting our friends next Tuesday. Puede repetir esa teacher. The last one. He is visiting the beach next Tuesday. Okay, now let's check. Let's check. Okay, Jenny, can you tell us number one, please? Eh, la repito, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Number one. I am talking about you. Talking, like with your voice. Talking. I am talking about you. Okay. It's so so. The verb is different. Let's see, Nelson. What do you have? Uh, uh, one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Okay. Uh, I am talking about you. Okay. Can you send the verb in the chat? The verb in the chat. Okay, and right now, guys, do you hear any sound? En este momento escuchan algo. Porque ahorita ya no están los grillos. No, ya no. Los grillos. 
Eso ok, era. sí, eso era. Sí, nos engañó a todos. <laughs> ok. No, it's not that verb, Nelson, but thank you. Who has any other verb? Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. that's the one. Look at the chat. Thinking. Denme el lapicero. Thank you, Nelson. Now, Rene, number two. I'm sorry, Rafa, number two. What is the sentence? I'm watching the car on Saturday. I'm watching. I am watching the car on Saturday. Okay, like this. I will send it in the chat. Like that. Yes. Eh, que la escribe en el chat. Es el verbo watch. 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 Watching. De, ah, okay. de, de ver. Okay, it is different. It is different than that. Let's see, Maricela and you, what do you have? Oh, it's... Number two. Mm. Number two, Maricela. Ah, okay. And Washing. Rina, what do you have? Number two. I am washing the car on Saturday. Washing, aha, uh -huh. this is the verb, washing. That's the, <clears throat> the correct spelling. Okay, number three, Rosie. He is checking the report. She is or he is? He is. He is checking the report. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Thank you. Katia, continue, Katia. Uh, eh, no la escuché muy bien, pero uh, anoté esto. Uh -huh. He is visiting the beach next to tu Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, very good. So that is what you should have. Okay, so remember today we finished section three. So today we are going to practice and review present continuous. That is what we will be doing in the class. We will continue here with the book. Um, just give me one moment. If you have the book, you can go to page 34. That's the, the page number, page 34. I will share the book in, in a moment. It's loading. Okay, we will go to page 34. Let me get there. Okay. Page 34, we will study and practice with the reading. And because of the time, only, only four of you are going to practice a little bit more with the reading, okay? But please look at this, look at the activities employees do to feel happy. And later we have to answer some statements. We have to say if they are true or false. Okay, so we have four activities. Number one, organize yoga classes. <laughs> if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact 
yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Uh, get everyone to sign a card and have a cake once a month or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting, getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you are going to be a prime target. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them up up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a, it's a bit easy, lighthearted, fun, that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, so now we will do it with some of you. We will start with Joanna. Hello, Joa. Can you help us read the first paragraph? Okay. Organize your classes. If you are in an office and your employees are sitting at the computers, uh, computer every day, don't understand, understand underestimate. Underestimate the impact yoga call have on their attitude and outlook. yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. Okay. What both... Sorry, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> what both called when the toss have comes. Okay, Joa, thank you. I know there are many new, new words over here. I'll help you with the pronunciation of some of them. This one is underestimate. Underestimate. Uh -huh, underestimate. And with this one that you see here is could. Cool. The L, uh -huh, the L is silent. We don't say it. Just could. Uh -huh, that's the way it sounds. Alleviate. 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 Ah, alleviate. Calm the mind. Calm the mind. Mm -hmm. Release. Re Release. Uh -huh. When you say it, it sounds like, like this. Release and improve improve uh -huh. can you say them one more time underestimate cold mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> i don't remember call the mind uh -huh. Re release release improve Excellent. Okay. Oh, and this one is those outcomes. Those outcomes. Yes. Okay, Joa. Thank you. 
Now let's Thank continue. You. You're welcome. Let's continue with number two. Celebrate birthdays. And it finishes over here. Okay, let's try with Rosy. Number two, Rosy. Okay. You don't just have to really own the same games to boss moral sim simple como hay la otra palabra no sé cómo se dice acknowledging acknowledging ¿Cómo? acknowledging uh -huh. acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact it shows your team that you care about them as people not not just as employees yet every ahí every everyone no sé cómo es everyone everyone to send a car have cake once a month or simple buy them around Continue. There's still like one one more line to go. Ah, me falta. Uh -huh. Of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. There you go. Okay, thank you, Rosie. Now the pronunciation. Number one, rely. 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 Mm -hmm. Next. Acknowledging. Acknowledging. Yes. Everyone sign. Everyone sign. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now you, Rosie. Number one. Rely. Mm -hmm. Number two. Acknowledging. Mm -hmm. Everyone is sign. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with number three. Can you try, Nelson? Number three. Painful. Okay. Give your employees an opportunity to live to live up some esteem by organizing a day of paintball. Simple getting getting off of the office can work wonder for a staff moral watch of song as the boss you are going to be a prime target okay nelson very good i will help you with these two words the one you see here is organizing organizing mm -hmm. Dough. Organize. Dough. Mm -hmm. Dough. Organize. Dough. 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 I have with the TH sound. Mm -hmm. Dough. It's very well. Dough. Okay, okay Nelson. Thank Dough. you. Thank you. And let's go with the last one. Jani, can you help us with the last one, please? Okay. West. Was yes. who? Uh, ask every every everyone to bring a shield photo on the ten servants and put them all up on the board and then get every everyone everyone to put their best wishes for what's on eight. One is a bit of easy, like heritage food that will def definitely help little spirits willow offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. 
Uh, this one here is childhood. 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 Child. Childhood. Child. You try. You can try to separate. It. Puede tratar como de separarlo y ya después lo uno. Tiene la primera palabra child con d al final. Child. Child. Eh, y la, ajá. Y la otra es hood. Childhood. Ajá. Hood. Y ya junto, childhood. childhood. Okay. Childhood. Thank you. Guess. Yes. Yes. This one here. Yes. Yes. No. Ajá. Yes. Como que no tuviera la U. Ah, ok. Ajá. Yes. Yes. Here, guesses. Guesses. Ajá. Forward. Guesses. Forward. Definitely. 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 Ahí poquito, poquito. Eso es algo <laughs> difícil. Okay, and this one Definitely. here, wild. 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 Uh -huh. wild. wild. Humor. Humor. Uh-huh. Humor. 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 Okay, Jenny. Thank you. Now, we will practice with you some words. Okay, Katia, please repeat the words that I highlight. Solo las que, las que vamos a ver acá. Okay, number one. Permita. Uh -huh. Un... Ajá. Underestimate. Underestimate. Uh -huh. Underestimate. Next. Release. Mm -hmm. Rely. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Sign. Yes. Organizing. Yes. Organizing. Organizing. So. <laughs> huh? Yes. Yes. Childhood. Uh -huh. Childhood. Guesses. Forward. Forward. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay no problem. Humor. Humor. Okay, very well. You did a very good job. Okay, let's see Maricela. Okay, Maricela. Number one. Uh, on, under, under, underestimate. The underestimate. Uh huh. Uh, the, Release. Uh -huh. The one here. Release. And here. Uh, uh, alleviate. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, alleviate. Uh, really? Rely. 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 Ajá. Rely. Rely. Next here. Organi organizing. Mm -hmm. uh, thought. Though. Next. Child. 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 Childhood. 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 In here. Childhood. Uh, I definitely. Definitely. Okay. De de definitely. 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 So so. Por allí. Okay. Thank you, Maricela. Let's try with Rina. Are you there, Rina? Okay. 
Okay, Rina, number one. Underestimate. Mm -hmm. Alleviate. 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 Uh -huh. Release. Rely. Mm -hmm. Organizing. Yes. Guess. Guesses. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 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 Very good. Why? Uh -huh. Humor. Very good. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Okay, and Rafa. One, Rafa. Okay, this one here. Alleviate. Alleviate. Underestimate. 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 Hmm? Release. Yes. Rely. Rely. Aha, uh -huh, the one here. Organize. Organizing. Organizing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Childhood. Yes. De definitely. Definitely. De definitely. Definitely. Uh -huh. And the one here? Why? Yes. Okay, very good. Very good pronunciation. Um, if you have questions about the vocabulary, podemos, si quieren, unos dos minutos, podemos ver el vocabulary y luego lo otro lo pueden ustedes buscar. So, questions, which words would you like to know? Maricela, eh, las pueden eh, enviar en el eh, chat también. Ajá, Maricela. Under, under, underestimate. Underestimate, what is and uh, alleviate? Underestimate es sub, subestimar. Alleviate, aliviar. Okay. Is, there, uh -huh. is there anything else, guys, that I could help you with? Uh, next, the, the, the release. release. Como sacar, sacar la tensión, release. Sacar dejar la dejar ir, ajá. Uh -huh. Rely, no sé si se... Ajá. Rely es como confiar o depender de. The one that you see ah. here, rely. Joa, do you have a question, Joa? Yes, uh, acknowledging. Ah, acknowledging. Yes. Es... Tener conocimiento. Acknowledging es conocimiento. Acknowledge. Pero ahí está conjugado. Acknowledge. Esta es la forma base. Conocimiento. Acknowledge. En childhood. Es niñez. Niñez. Okay. Is there anything else? Guys. Ajá. La frase... Light hearted. Ah, hearted. Light hearted. Es como una ah. broma. Hearted. Uh -huh. Ah, no, es, es una frase que podemos utilizar para, para decir como que, como que alumbra el corazón, como algo que es, es mm. muy bonito. It's a phrase. Mm -hmm. Light hearted. Live spirit. Lift the spirits es también como un dicho, como una frase, que es como um, subir el ánimo. Subir el ánimo. That is the way we could use. Okay, guys, because of the time, I won't give you more. You're welcome, but you can look for them on the dictionary, okay? Now, here we have some questions. We will have, we're going to think about these questions. Number one, okay, Joa, what do you think? Yoga has an important effect on employees. Is that true or false? Yoga has 
an important effect on employees. Yes, no, why? True uh, or false? True. Why? Um, and underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and overload. Mm -hmm. Is uh, improve brain function and lift mood, okay. calm the mind. Uh -huh. The benefits, right? Here you can see the benefits of yoga on people. Oh, and this one is improve, improve the yoga. But yes, it's true, right? Yoga has good effects or benefits on people. Okay, thank you, Joe. Uh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> thank you, Johanna. Okay, number two. Let's continue with Rosie. What do you think, Rosie? Yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. True or false? False. Can you say Hola. why? Puedes decir por qué. Ajá. Why? Because yoga can help alleviate. No sé cómo se alleviate. Alleviate. Ajá. Alleviate stress, help the mind. And calm. Aha, uh -huh. it says here that it does, it calms the mind. Okay, please use the chat, everyone. I want to know everyone's opinion on the next one. Number three, send it by chat and then we check. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. This is about point number two. Send it in the chat, true or false. Based on the reading, special occasions such as birthdays, special occasions are not important. True or false. And please everyone send it in the chat if you think it's true or if you think it's false. Okay, thank you, Rafa. We will wait a moment for your classmates to send the answer. Okay. Joa, you say that it's false. Rosie, false. Yanni, Katia. Send your message, Gina, Nelson. Hi, Rene. I hadn't seen you here. Welcome. Did yeah, you welcome. just join or were you yes. here a long time? Ah, okay. No, just like five minutes ago. Ah, okay. Yeah. Were you able to read? Have you, have you read what we are talking about? No. Uh, actually, at this moment, I was. Ah, doing okay. That, but All right. I don't quite sure what is the. the, the ah, okay. The we are right doing the reading, and then we we are trying to answer the statements. But let oh, me know okay. when you finish, okay. so you can also participate. Okay. Sure. Okay. So false, Maricela. Why is it false? Number three. Why is that false, Maricela? Um, 
porque la pregunta dice que la, le la lectura y las ocasiones especiales no son importantes. ¿no? Uh -huh. eh, True. Dice, yeah, Lizzie, it shows your thing that you care about in as people. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. It's over here, right? So, Katia, uh -huh, that is what Katia sent by chat, that acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It could be very, very special or important for employees. Okay, number four, guys, send it in the chat. Is it true or false? Workers can play paintball inside the office. Is it true or false? Can they play paintball inside the office? Okay, so I have some of you here. Nelson and you, what do you think? Is it true or false? Uh, false. Why? Um, simply given all out of the office. Uh -huh. Out of the office. Do you know that game? Do you know what that that it is? That means? It means. Sabe que es painful. Es un juego donde se dispara en pintura. Um, yeah. This is painful. So you can play inside the office. No se podría jugar adentro uh -huh. porque todo mancharía. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it is false. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Number four. I'm sorry. Number five. Childhood photos can offend employees. True or false? Childhood photos can offend employees. Please send it by chat. I only have two answers in this moment, only Maricela and Rosie. So when you have it, please send it. Jani, Rene, Rafa, or oh, Rene, you did, right, Rene? I think this one is from the last one. Okay, so Rene, why do you think it's, it's false? What did you understand? Uh because the, the 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 idea to bring childhood photos to to the work, um, I guess, is for they have uh, some type of recreation, some time, something, um, some points um, get fun of it. So I don't see why they can find offended to bring that photos to the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. They can find it offensive, will be the, the right word. Offensive. Mm -hmm. They can find it offensive. Offensive is the noun, and offended is the adjective. Like, I am offended 
by the things you did. And offensive, it will be like something that you're doing. That, that video game is offensive. So it okay. is, uh -huh, that's a little bit different. Okay, thank you. So yes, the last one, it will be false. It's not offensive. It is something that they do to, like it says here, to lift the spirits. Okay, thank you everyone. Now we have another activity to continue practicing and it's the one that, that I sent by chat. You have to read the sentences and correct them if necessary. You have 13 sentences and you have to correct them if it's necessary. Van a leer las oraciones y si hay que corregirlas, las van a corregir. Pero si está bien, pueden solo ponerle que está correct. Like number one, I am often playing tennis on Saturdays. What do you think? Is it, is it correct or is it incorrect? Or number four, he is believing every word she says. Is that correct or incorrect? Van a leer las, las sentences y ustedes tienen que arreglarlas o corregirlas si están mal. Okay, do you have a question about that activity? No, it's clear. No questions. Okay, I think I'm going to, Rosy. Nosotros las vamos a corregir si están mal escritas. Ajá, if necessary, si fuera necesario. Si está bien, solo se le pone ahí que está correcto. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance and then I'm going to send you to the room so you can practice with your classmates. Ok, so we will start with Daisy, Daisy Yesenia. It is Joanna. Present. Then Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario, Katia Gabriela. Present. Okay, Lisette del Carmen and Maricela del Carmen. Present. Then Minette Rivera, Nehemias Regalo, Nelson Alberto, Nelson René. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. René Guardado. Present. Rina Espinosa. Rosy. Meléndez. Present. Okay. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda. And Present. Zulma. Thank you. Zulma Lorena. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to divide you in groups of three. Okay, analyze the sentences and then we check them together. Okay, so Joa, Jani, and Maricela. Then number two, we will have Rene, Katia, and Rosie. Next, Nelson Rene. Rafael Antonio and Rina, Rina Espinosa.
una preposición. Hi, Hola. I'm going to be with you a moment. If you need me, let me know. Ahora, solo algo para, para eh, sobre el reading. Tienen que tomar en cuenta el uso, el uso que se le está dando a, a la oración. Por ejemplo, number four, he is believing every word she says. ¿Qué creen? What do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 ¿Y cómo, y cómo quedaría? What will be the change? Mm. Se podría hacer como un day. They are verb. Hacerlo mm. juntos. Mm. Mm, no. Ok, based on the structure. Basado en la estructura, ¿está bien o no? La mm. estructura diría que sí. Uh -huh. he, diría que sí porque está he, he is el uh -huh. sujeto, sujet. Eh, de ahí, eh, it will el be verbo. correct. Uh -huh. It will be correct. Ahora, hay en una explicación un poco más como compleja. Sería mejor utilizar he believes. He believes every word she says. Pero todavía no. Hay unas, unas cosas que se llaman action and non-action verbs. Donde hay dos verbos y dependiendo de cómo sea el verbo, se cambia. Pero, basado en la estructura, estaría correcto. He is believing. Mm -hmm. Es el correcto. Y la otra parte. She says. Y tiene la S. Complemento. Que, ajá, es como el complemento. Ok. Estaría bien. Ok, pero, ajá, revisen. Y le van poniendo ahí. El number one, teacher, eh. Sería como lo correct. I am playing tennis often or Saturday. Pero el often se me ha ido. ¿Qué significa? Often is like a menudo. Ah, entonces estaría correcto. Está correcto. Eso sería, eso Ajá, sería incorrecto. One is, number one is correct. Two. Correct. Ajá. Ah, ok. Okay, so I'm going to let you here continue and I'm going to visit <coughs> other things, okay? And in a moment, we will return to the main room. Okay, see you in a moment. Uh, we rarely go out for dinner, but this week we were go out on Saturday. Verdad que el verbo no cambia ahí, ¿verdad? Verdad que el verbo no cambia. ¿Cuál? El, el... Go. Go. We go. Uh, creo que sí. Ay. Verbos. Hi. How is this exercise doing? Is it easy? A little bit confusing. <laughs> What confusing. Do you think? It is kind of confusing. <laughs> confusing. Uh, we went out. But it is. It's only considering present tense. Don't change it to past tense. Pero el verbo cambiaría, verdad? El go. Number three. Uh -huh. Number three. Pero eso se está refiriendo oh, no. que salieron o que van a salir. This way we go out. Salieron. Es que es como que como que esta semana salimos, como que afirma que salieron el sábado. Mm, no. Sería simple. There is 
one change. You have to change something there. Sí, hay que hacer un cambio. Por ahí, caliente. Caliente, caliente. <laughs> Apostrofe R -E. Okay, the first part is correct. The first part is correct. We rarely, we rarely go, out go out for dinner. For dinner. Uh -huh. It's like a routine. That's something that you rarely do. But it's week. Ah, uh, week. Week. No. No. Uh, the we. Yo creo que se le agrega apostrofe r. This week we are. Uh -huh. Go out on Saturday. Going. We're going ah, out. Ir. We're going yes. out. Yes. We're Saturday. going out on Saturday. Uh -huh. Okay, so think about it. Think about it in only simple present or present continuous. Okay. 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 I'm going to give you more time and I'll visit you in a moment. Here is asking a question. Hi, how are you doing? Teacher. Se le fue la conexión a Rina. Sí, no, no se puede ah, conectar. Porque, ah, no se puede conectar. It disappeared, ya no la veo acá. How are you doing? Do you need help? Do you have questions? Uh, number three. Uh -huh. We are really going to. Uh, to siempre se le agrega cuando va el, el ING. I'm sorry, repeat, Rafa. El rarely. Going. Uh, nosotros le agregamos going to. Uh, Pero no es ese, no es ese el error, Rafa, no está ahí. It's actually on the other side of the sentence. Está al otro lado. Ese estaba bien. Es we are. Sin el are y el going to. We are go. Solo we rarely go out for dinner. Ahí teníamos dudas, pero sí, estábamos viendo. Pero es on the lado. other side. Ah. Por ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, aquí ah, tendría ah. que ir. Ajá. Going to. Por cierto, este ejercicio sí. es de, sí. de simple present en present continuous. Tienen sí. los dos. Mm. Ok. No solo uno, sino que uh -huh. ambos. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Eh, eh, lo que lo que iba a preguntar Rafa es que siempre va acompañado el con el going va el to, ¿verdad? Mm. O no siempre. En present continuous. Ajá. Sí. No, ahí no, no lo lleva. Lo no pone lleva. cuando va otro verbo a la par. We are como que vayamos a la playa. No, vayamos a, a visitar a alguien. We are going to visit mm -hmm. my family okay. in San Vicente. Okay. Pero si no hay verbo, no. Ah, ok. Ajá. This week we are going out on Saturday. Ok. Okay. Okay. I'll go for some water. Ya regreso, okay? I'll go for some water. Be right back. Okay. Eh, vaya, Rafa. La, la seis, Rafa. Eh... Peter is asking a lot of questions every day. Para mí está bien. ¿Verdad? Que eso está correcto. Ah, la, sí, porque lleva el, el is y el ing, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, y el otro Jason. Jason doesn't know no. the answer no. to this question. Jason doesn't Sí. 
será que aquí le agregaríamos el INP y, tal vez ah, no. sí. el, el, el no no es de conocer no eh. Pero aquí le agregaríamos o, Sí, verdad o le, No, le agre, no, para no mí está bien Jason no. doesn't know the answer To the question Jason no conoce la respuesta Para esta A la pregunta, pregunta Ajá. Okay. Porque Va, si entonces, le agregamos ING dijera No está conociendo Verdad Ay, Ya no Correcto. Y aquí, we are. Y we are. We are. Nosotros, we, we are. We are. We are. A meeting, a meeting in Chicago, in Chicago this weekend. Bueno, le falta el we are, ¿verdad? Ah, el are. Ah, el Ese, are. Porque el meeting sí le lleva Estamos el... atendiendo una reunión en Chicago. Esta semana. This weekend. Ah, entonces. Hi, Rina. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, okay, we will continue together because of the time. We still have other activities to do, but let's check. Let's check your answers. Okay, we will start with Nelson, Rafa, and, and Rina, right? Number one, I am often playing tennis on Saturdays. Is that correct or incorrect? Para nosotros está correct. 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 Okay. Thank you. And Katia, René, and Rosy, is it correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. Correct. Joa, Maricela. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, the structure is correct. We could say that it's correct. It will be better if you use simple present because it is like a regular activity. So it will be, I play tennis on Saturdays, but the structure is correct. So we can say that it is. Okay, number two, Katia, Rene, and Rossi. We usually take three weeks to complete a project. It's true or it's correct or incorrect. Incorrect. Why? Bueno, nosotros le pusimos we are usually taking three a week to complete a project. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Rafa, Rina, Nelson. What do you have? 
we are usually taking two weeks to complete a project. Okay, Rafael. Igual, igual lo colocamos. Joana, Maricela, what is the change? Lo dejamos correct. The same. Mm -hmm. That one was good. You didn't need to, to correct it. We have all the, the structure, all the parts. It is a regular activity, so it, it was correct. You, you don't need to change it. Number three. Okay, so how would it go? Nelson, did you change number three? Okay, we rarely go out for dinner, but this week we are going, going mm -hmm. out on Saturday, incorrect. Huh? Thank you, yes, but this week yes. we are going out on Saturday. Number four, René. He is believing every word she says. Is it correct or incorrect? Or Katya, uh -huh. number five. Is it correct or uh, incorrect? Nosotros le agregamos he is believing every word she say, says. Okay, that, that will work. That will work. And Maricela, number five. Nosotros la dejamos correct eh, según la estructura, está bien. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Rafa, what do you think? Is that sentence correct? Mm? Seven o'clock, and she? Number four, he is believing oh, every word. Oh, okay, it's correct. Correct. Yes, you can leave it like that. Now the change Rene and Katia mentioned will be it could be a possibility if we imagine the situation she is speaking. If we imagine that is a, an activity happening in that moment, he is believing every word she is saying. It could be correct. But the, word, the way it's here, it's also correct. After we finish, I'm going to give you a review. Cuando terminemos, vamos a revisar el uso para que puedan ver por qué. Por qué queda de una manera o queda de otra manera. Number five. Can you help us with that one, Joana? Uh, number five is correct. Correct. Okay, thank you. Katia, René, and Rosy. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And Rafa, Nelson, Rina. Uh, nosotros incorrect porque le agregamos en eh, grab uh, seven o'clock en en she is. She is. Now, it is a different change. We'll change this. She gets up at seven o'clock and has her breakfast or breakfast every day. That will be the change. No ing, only has. Has breakfast every day. Number six, Rosie. Ahí nosotros dijimos correct. Correct. 
Okay. Is there anyone else who has it in a different way? Alguien la tiene diferente? No? The same. Okay, la estructura está bien. The structure is correct. Pero acá es una actividad regular. So it would be better if you say Peter asks a lot of questions every day. Or he talks a lot. Okay, la estructura está bien. It's not, it's not bad. Pero si hablamos de regular activities, we have to use simple present. Peter asks a lot of questions every day. Number seven, René. Jason doesn't know the answer to this question. It's correct. It is. It is correct. Number eight, Maricela, we attend a meeting in Chicago this weekend. Uh, correct. Correct. Uh, the structure is correct, but we have to use another one. Let's see. Is, um, the LR, we are. Aha, uh -huh, because it's this weekend. We are attending oh, okay. a meeting in Chicago this weekend. Okay, number eight, Joanna. Number nine, I'm sorry. She is wanting to purchase a new computer. Is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, the structure is correct. The structure estaría correcta. Sin embargo, con el verbo want, raramente se utiliza con ing. Usualmente se utiliza con, con el base form, pero esto es algo que aún no, no han estudiado. Sería mejor si decimos, she wants, she wants to purchase a new computer. That would be the best choice, but the structure is correct. The structure of the sentence is correct, but it's better to use, she wants to purchase a new computer. Okay, number 10. Can you help us with that one, Rafa? I'm hoping that this quiz is easy. Are you there, Rafa? Okay. La base del verbo es hop. Hop. Yes, we can consider it is correct. The structure is correct. So what it says, it's it's correct. Okay, number 11, Rene, please. Janet has breakfast at the moment. And let me check. Janet is having breakfast at the moment. Ajá, uh -huh. the structure is correct. correct. La estructura no podemos decir que está mal. Pero para situations happening in the moment, we have to mm -hmm. use present continuous. So we have to say sure. Janet is having breakfast at the moment. Uh -huh. That sure. will be the change. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue, Katia. My friend works in a factory 20 miles from their apartment. Um, <laughs> but what do you think? My friend. Yo diría que está bien. Okay, and you, Jani? Let's ask Jani. What do you think, Jani? Is it correct or incorrect? Fíjese que se me fue la luz y y no ah, llegué a, okay. a, a y me conecté. Ah, okay. 
y no logra, no llegué hasta a esas últimas. No problem. Who has that one? ¿O quién nos ayuda con esa? Number 12. Rafa, what is the problem? Será que es my friend work. My friends work. My friends work. Because it's plural. Mm -hmm. My friends work in a factory. Yes, Rafa, that's the, the mistake. Okay, number 13. Who can help us with that one? She are always complaining about how much she hates her job. Can you see the mistake? This is incorrect, teacher. Why? Uh, porque lleva el she are. Ajá. Y solo debería ser she always complaining about eh. um, how much. Is. That oh, is. Well, is. Ajá, you is. change are and we use is. That is the mistake. Okay, so you did very well. You did very well. Maybe what we need to reinforce is the use. Las estructuras que ustedes vieron, que me dijeron que eran correctas o incorrectas, estaban bien. Lo que tenemos que quizás reforzar es el uso, porque creo que ahí a veces se les olvida cuándo va uno, cuándo va otro. So let's remember the use. Okay, we have present continuous and we have simple present. But they have different, different uses. Okay, so let's refresh the use. Okay, simple present. We start with simple present really quick. Simple present. Who remembers the use? What is the use of simple present? Any activity? Regular activity. Uh -huh. Tradition. Tradition. One more. Do you remember? Habits. Habits. Thank you. Okay, if you are talking about any of these situations, use simple present. Si es cualquiera de esas situaciones, recuérdense de utilizar simple present. ¿Cuál es simple present? Subject, verb, and complement. Así que eso fue lo que pasó en algunas de, de las oraciones. La estructura estaba bien, pero según el uso, no estaba bien el que habíamos escogido. And then we have uh, present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. There are three, three different uses. Con present continuous, los usos son bien distintos. We study three uses of it. Okay, can you tell us one, one use, Rosie? One of the uses of present continuous. Are you there, Rosie? Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. Perdón, no, no la escuchaba. Podría decirnos un uso, un uso de present continuous. Um, no remember. No. Okay. And you, Marce, can you help us? One use of present continuous. Activity mm -hmm. doing in the moment. Mm -hmm. Activities we are doing in the moment of speaking. That is one use. Activities we are doing in the moment of speaking. Okay, that's one. Okay, Rene, can you tell us another use? of present continuous. 
second we say that is for activities that we going to use to do in the future uh -huh. okay so future plans right future activities yeah. we can use present continuous and the one we studied yesterday katya yesterday we studied the third use the one that was um, very confusing <laughs> temporary activities uh -huh, and oh. temporary. Uh -huh. y también era para el futuro también ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. o no yes okay so here we have um, here we have present continuous. Okay, los dos son present tense, pero el uso is different. Okay, so depende de qué quieren decir, you have to use simple present or present continuous. And remember the structure. Remember the structure. This is the structure. Subject, verb B, verb plus ing, and complement. That is the structure that we have to use. Subject, verb B, verb plus ing, and complement. Three different uses. Okay. Is there something that you would like to ask? Es un pequeño review, un pequeño recordatorio. No sé si hay algo que ustedes quisieran preguntar. About this. Um, remember, teacher, uh, the questions, the structure. The structure for the questions. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, I have the structure here. I will put it on the on the whiteboard. Give me one second. This is the structure. Okay, so here we have a little summary, un pequeño recordatorio de lo que hemos estado estudiando. We will continue now with a role play. Vamos a seguir con un role play. Lo van a estructurar y luego si es necesario yo les doy un poquito más de feedback. Okay, about the conversations. Okay, I'm just going to give, give you a moment. And then we we'll continue. So before we start working on the role play, do you have a question for me? Antes que empecemos con el role play, alguna otra duda? No? Una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Solo, solo en el, en el simple present, Ajá. Es correcto no agregar el B. Uh -huh. Simple present, okay. no per B. Yes. Okay. Was there anybody else? No sé si había alguien más. No. No more questions. Okay. So the conversation that you have to do is about using simple present and present continuous. Talk to your partner. Okay, have a conversation with your partner. Imagine that he is your friend and you are talking about life. Están hablando con su amigo o amigos y están hablando de la vida. Está abierto para que utilicen los dos tiempos. Okay, simple present and present continuous. You can use it for, for temporary activities, future activities, or activities happening in this moment, okay? Ustedes tienen que ya con lo que conocen, the structure, the conversation. Okay, so I'm going to open the room and maybe I think I will make some, some changes. Okay, Rina, are you here, Rina? 
Rina. Ah, ok. How do you feel, Gracias. Rina? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Puede participar o solo va a escuchar? ¿Cómo va? Aquí intentando. Los ojos no aguanto. Okay. Si quiere, solo escuche entonces si no se siente muy bien. Sé que está ahí enfermo. ¿O sí, quiere entonces... practicar con el roleplay? ¿Qué prefiere? Uh -huh. Voy a intentar. Ok, ok, sounds good. So let me, let me see. Ok, so Rina, please work with Rosy and Marcela. Ok, and then Joa. This time work with Rene. Joa and, and Rene. Then we will have Katia, Jani, and Rafa. Katia, Jani, Rafa. And the last one will be Maricela and Nelson. Okay, please open the room. Hi, ¿qué tal van? Comenzando. Exacto. Empezando a pensar. Correcto. ¿Qué van a decir? Ok. Well, I'll be here. If you need me, you can ask. Voy a estar aquí un ratito con ustedes. Cualquier cosa y les doy feedback. Ok. Entonces. Eh, bueno. eh. Siempre comenzamos con el saludo. Ah, sí, exacto. Hello. Nos conocemos. How are you? How are you, Nelson? Bueno, Marco, voy a iniciar entonces. Hello, voy a iniciar. Hello, my name is Nelson. Da, eh, y ahí le pregunto. No, ya te conozco. Ah, ok. Ah, ya no. Ajá, uh -huh. how are you, Nelson? I'm fine. And you very well. Very, very well. I'm fine. And you. Ok, very good. Él me conseguí la mano. Eh, cuando hablaba ella de qué has hecho o, o, o qué has hecho en tu trabajo, cómo te ha ido en tu trabajo, cómo era. Eh, mencionaba ya que. What you doing? Ah, but you're going to be working in the workplace. Oh, what you're doing in working, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing in the working? In the, in the workplace or working or the home? Working. Ah, para ya utilizar el presente continuo. Uh, Okay. Eh, ahí respondería usted o yo, eh, Marisela. Responda usted. Sí? Ah, ok. Eh, bueno, ¿Qué hacen en el trabajo? Ahí lo voy a poner. Eh, eh, I am, I am, 
I am saying a report. Yo le voy a colocar I am I am I am saying a report of Cochillo and you le voy a poner and what about you? I am saying report. A report of Cochillo and what? Wow, wow. Wow. Activity. Activity. Uh, uh, and, and about you, ahí le voy a poner a usted. Y usted me responde. About. Entonces te voy a poner. I am calling the coaches and send them. Send the. And you? Ah, en, y le puedo, en Yurina. En Yurina. Hi, how is your conversation going? Hi, teacher. Do you Bien, need help? Estamos improvisando. That's good. Ajá, try to change it. Traten de hacerlo de una manera que no lo hayan hecho antes. Remember, your friends son amigas, así que pueden hablar de distintas cosas. Um, do you need help? No sé si les ha surgido alguna duda y quieren que les ayude o van bien hasta ahorita. Hasta ahorita, ahorita bien. solo estamos como armando. Ah, ok. Mm. Y ya casi lo terminan. Un par de minutitos más. Ok. Ok, so I'm going to visit another group, ok, but you still have time. Ok. Speak other language. Hi. Hola. Hello. How are you doing? ¿Cómo van? Aquí entendiendo. Mm -hmm. Haciendo el intento. <laughs> okay, good. Do you have questions for me? Something that you might need some help with? Um, mm. Si quiere, podemos decirlo como lo tenemos ahorita okay. y usted nos, nos revisa. Ok. Ok, entonces Rafa empieza. I think Rafa is having issues because I can't see him and he disappeared. Ok, entonces. Eh, le arruinó la conexión. Pero ya está prácticamente, solo lo estaban ya... Eh, Solo estructurando, de escribiendo y de preguntando unas cosas. <risa> Básicamente, ah, okay. por ejemplo, a mí me preguntaba Rafa: uh, Oh, he is here. What are you doing? Uh -huh. oh. Hola, volví. Hi, oh, yes. la conexión. <risa> yes, I noticed. Eh, ok, but I think decir, I. I think I won't be able to hear you, Katia, sorry, because we don't have much time. I apologize. Pero sí los voy a oír allá. Okay, so in case it's necessary, I will give you feedback. Si es necesario, yo les doy feedback, ¿verdad? Okay, los voy a dejar. Ya okay. casi regresamos, guys. See you in a moment. Hi, Joa. Hello, René. Have you finished? Hi there. Hello. Hi. Are you done? And no yet. We no. just uh, end our routine. Uh, so. okay. Well, I'm going to give you the last 40 seconds so you can try to make a conclusion because we have to go back. Okay. So see okay. you in a moment. Sure. Lisette, está por ahí Lisette. 
Hi, Katia. Y ahorita que vuelvan sus classmates, podemos escuchar el role play hoy, hoy sí. <laughs> ya voy a escuchar el role play. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's start with Katia, Rafa, and Jani. Hola, hola. Hola. Yes. Okay. Hello, guys. I am Rafa and I am work at Hardware School. What do you do, Katia? Hello, Rafa. I am studying. English and you, uh, Jenny, what are you doing? The microphone, Jenny. Hi, Katia, because I student English to speak another language. Hola. Hola. Uh, Se escucha. Okay. <laughs> sí. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. That's it. Wow, that was very short. Okay. All right. Thank you, then. I appreciate it. So, in that case, we will continue. Uh, let's see. Marcela. Rina, Rosy, can you continue, please? Okay. Hi, how are you today, girls? Hi, Marcel, I'm fine. And you, Rina? Hi, Rosy, I'm not very well. I had an accident playing soccer and today, I am resting at home. And you? Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry for you, Rina. I am resting at home because I am in my vacation. And what are you doing, Rosy? I was in a meeting with my boss all a day. Oh, interesting. And where do you work? I work in promotion assistant. And you, Rina? I work in customer service. Interesting. Well, mm -hmm. I have to go. I hope you get better, Rina. Bye. Good Bye, Rina. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. It was longer. Mm -hmm and very good structures. The structures that you use were the right ones. So thank you. Now let's continue with Joanna. Joanna and Rene, please. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Rene. How was your day going? Uh, I tell you, uh, this day I uh, work from home and also take care of the child. In the afternoon, I take him to his first first day of kindergarten. Tomorrow, I have to work from the office from uh, 8 a.m. to 8 o'clock. And on Friday, I work from home. This weekend, I have planned uh, to walk to the beach with my family and then to rest. And you, Rene, what are you doing? Oh, well, uh, today was my day off. I usually clean my room on this day. I was watching a movie in the afternoon. 
After that, I went out with some friends to do the groceries. And after my English class, I just want to fall asleep because I need to wake up at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow. That's good, Rene. It was a pleasure to see you. It was my pleasure to see you next time. See you. Very good conversation. It sounded very natural and very informative. You talk about your days. Now, in your case, you also use other tenses. That's very nice because you apply them in the right way. So I have no nothing to say, but that it was very good. Okay, thank you, Joa and Rene. Okay, um, before we go on, I will take the attendance. Okay, so we we have that completed. Okay, give me just one minute. Okay, so we will start with Daisy Jasenia. She's not here. It is Joanna. Present. Okay, thank you. And then Jennifer Marcela. Jose Mario. Present. Katia Gabriela. Present. Then Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Mauricio Castaneda. Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Nelson Alberto, Nelson René. Present. Thank you, Rafael Antonio. Present. René Guardado. Present. Rina Espinosa. Present. Vladimir Rodas. Yanira Cepeda. Zulma Present. López. Okay, thank you. Rosy, so, present. Rosy, no la mencioné, Rosy. Sorry. No. Ya la agregué acá. Thank you, Rosy. Okay, so here we have, we still have a few minutes, five more minutes. Today we finish section three. And next week we will have new topics. La otra semana vamos, sorry, mañana. Pues no se acaba todavía la semana, right? Tomorrow we will study a different journey, and you're going to study other things. Ya no va a ser tanto present continuous, sino que ya van a ser otras cosas that you will be practicing. Okay, so is there something about present continuous that is not being clear? Hay algo que, que sienten que no han entendido bien? Todavía tenemos unos minutitos. Si quieren que les aclare algo o re, re, fuerza. If you want me to reinforce something, what would it be? ¿Qué es lo que sería? Algo que no ha quedado muy claro. Maricela, ajá. Uh, quizás cuando se hablan de actividades como de futuro, como uh -huh. que uno se queda. Bueno, por lo menos yo me quedo como de, de la agrega de, 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 y en ese plan de futuro. Ah, okay. Well, Maricela, maybe a suggestion that I could give you a, or a recommendation will be to pay attention to time words. La recomendación que le daría, Maricela, es que ponga atención al contexto o a las palabras de tiempo que estén en esa oración. Porque si yo digo esto, I'm... Um, I'm eating pupusas, eating pupusas. Si solo lo digo así, podría ser como algo que está pasando ahorita, right? But if I want to, to express past future tense, I have to give a time for I'm eating pupusas tomorrow with my friends. Así que lo que les recomiendo, Marisela, es que, que ponga atención a algunas palabras de tiempo, porque esas son la clave para entender que vaya en futuro, el contexto. 
si hay una palabra que sea como tomorrow, next week, this weekend, palabras así de tiempo, eso le va a indicar que no ha pasado aún, sino que está por suceder. So maybe it helps you. Tal vez le ayuda un poquito. <laughs> ok. Marce, okay. Okay. temporary activities. Ok, Marce. <laughs> Voy a pensar en, en algo y podemos verlo en una session de, de 10 minutos. Por cierto, Joa, no sé si quieres quedarte ahora, solo tú faltas. No sé si te va a ser posible quedarte hoy. Sí, teacher, está bien. Ok. And starting tomorrow, it's optional, ok. A partir de mañana, pues cualquiera de ustedes se puede quedar. Solo me avisa o me manda un mensaje y se pueden quedar para reforzar cualquier tema que no estén entendiendo, ok. We still have that. And remember your homework. Por si no, no lo han terminado aún. Recuerden de terminar section number, number three. We will wait just a few seconds. Solo vamos a esperar un poquito más y ya se pueden marchar in a few seconds. Any other questions? Questions or complaints? Doubts? No. Not much. Okay, excellent. Okay, so I think it's, it's about to be time. I'm going to continue with Joanna, but it was nice to see you. I hope you can rest on the night and I hope to see you tomorrow again, everyone. Sweet dreams. Goodbye mm -hmm. to everyone. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. See you, Renee. One moment, John. Yeah. Okay, Joa. Uh, how are you doing? Is there something that you you wish to practice a little bit more? Something that you want to reinforce? Uh. <laughs> Es que muchas cosas, de hecho, de ah, repente okay. me, me confundo. Quizás el, el present continuos, eh, yo de verdad que ya le estoy agarrando como más confianza, porque antes uh -huh. creo que me pasaba como varios compañeros que, que teníamos la idea de que el presente continuo solo era con actividades que estábamos haciendo, como estoy uh -huh. comiendo, estoy saltando, y uh -huh. de repente nos costaba relacionar lo que, que tiene varios usos. Yo a uh -huh. veces leía algo, y no entendía por qué utilizaban el ING, y, y bueno, y ahora sí ya, ya lo entiendo, creo que lo entiendo, pero me falta uh -huh. como practicar más, y quizás algo que me gustaría que me ayudara es como, no sé, tips para, no sé, para, para practicar más, o, o qué debería, uh -huh. de, no sé, escuchar o leer para tener más vocabulario, o de repente que se me vengan rápido las ideas, a veces las tengo en la cabeza, pero no sé cómo, cómo decirlas. Cómo expresarse. Siempre, ah, ajá, okay. siempre como que tiendo a traducir aún. Mm, Entonces no mm. sé cómo quitarme eso. Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. Creo que es algo como que se hace por inercia, podría decirlo. Como que es lo primero que uno hace. Y sí, el problema es que en inglés el ING no siempre significa pro, progreso. Sino que es a veces solo una regla de una estructura. Así como en futuro. Si yo digo yo estoy comiendo mañana a las 8, eso en español no, nunca lo decimos así. Siempre uh -huh. decimos yo voy a, a comer o voy a hacer tal cosa. Pero en inglés no siempre va a ser progreso. Y eso es lo que cuando uno traduce, ahí es donde hay como problema. Entonces, qué bueno uh -huh. que ya que ya Joana ya va entendiendo que no es solo para progreso, sino que, y todavía hay otros usos que no están aún aquí y se pueden utilizar de otras maneras. Y lo que les mencionaba, hay, hay como ocho cosas más que todavía se faltan por saber, pero uno tiene que ir poco a poco, ¿verdad? Ok, so tips. 
¿Hay alguna actividad que usted haga aparte de las clases? Solo quiero saber primero eso. Ejercicio. Eh, Pero, a, o sea, yo tenga que ver lo hago, no, yo lo hago en mi... Ah, que tenga que ver con inglés. No, Ajá. no, no. Bueno, en el Nada. trabajo sí, de repente. ¿Cómo no? En el trabajo sí, de repente, contactos con proveedores no, que no son locales y nos mandan sus correos o propuestas en inglés. Entonces, más que todo en, en, para leer. Ajá. Ok. ¿Y qué es lo que quiere más mejorar? ¿Cómo no traducir? Eh, ¿Vocabulario? ¿Conversación? ¿Cuál es? Ajá. Antes se me dificultaba bastante como el, el oído. Ahora siento que lo he desarrollado mucho mejor, pero a veces me pasa que quizás con... Por ejemplo, en la clase, o sea, ya, ya prácticamente le entiendo casi todo lo que dice, pero es porque se utilizan casi todas las clases las mismas palabras y uh -huh. que usted le traduzca, al final eso nos ayuda porque puede ser que la dice en inglés y no entendemos, pero cuando nos traduce, ya entendemos uh -huh. y a la segunda, cuando la dice en inglés, ya, ya lo comprendemos. Siento uh -huh. que me ha ayudado bastante a desarrollar el oído esta, 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 esta técnica que ustedes tienen. Uh -huh. Pero quizás el vocabulario, este como sí como hablar eh, hablar Ajá. ok si usted quiere aprender más vocabulario primero tiene que buscar algo tiene que leer hay que leer para agregar más vocabulario es algo necesario puede leer libros de algo que le llame la atención o sea algo que sea interesante porque cuando algo es aburrido no le haya uno gracia y se vuelve algo, algo que no quiere hacer uno. Entonces, tiene que buscar algo que le llame la atención, leer. Y puede ser así o puede ser con movies. Puede poner las películas, por ejemplo, con subtítulos. Puede ser así como una película que ya casi no se sabe todo de memoria. Y ahora la ve en inglés con subtítulos en inglés. Y... Tiene que apuntar las palabras que no conozca. Las apunta y busque el significado. Porque cuando uno lo escribe, eso le ayuda a uno. Le ayuda a uno más a retenerlo. Ahora, lo que yo hago para... Porque para el vocabulario hay que memorizar. Y lo difícil a veces puede ser es que son muchas palabras. Aún más cuando uno va comenzando otro idioma es algo gigantesco que hay que aprender. Entonces, yo lo que hago, porque aún a mí a veces hay palabras que yo no conozco, nunca vamos a dejar de aprender otro idioma. Yo llevo muchos años que ya lo aprendí y, y siempre sigo aprendiendo. Entonces, lo que yo hago para ex, expandir aún más mi vocabulario es que, por ejemplo, si hay palabras que yo no conozco y quiero aprenderlas, las anoto así, en papeles. Que, por ejemplo, en el dólar... Tree, si no me equivoco, Dollar City, siempre le confundo el final. Ahí venden sticky notes. Son, son así, notitas pequeñas. Y estas se pueden colocar en un lugar donde uno frecuenta bastante. Porque como son pequeñas, se puede poner acá. Entonces, si yo quiero aprenderme alguna palabra, las pego en lugares donde transito bastante. Y cuando voy ahí, entonces les doy un vistazo. Así como... Aquí tengo belly bottom, quad bike, misstep, que a veces se me olvidan. Por ejemplo, yo siempre me confundo con pot en pan. Uno es olla y el otro es cacerola. Y nunca, no sé por qué, siempre en mi mente se me, se me mezclan. Entonces las apunto y hay que ver el papel. Pues es como un ejercicio mental, un ejercicio de memorización. Entonces... Puedes hacer eso, Joana. Eh, lo de leer, leer, buscar las palabras y luego tratárselas de aprender. Eso ayuda para vocabulario, para expandir el vocabulario. Ya con el tiempo, entre más uno sigue leyendo, de tanto verlas, de tanto estarlas viendo, uno se las llega a aprender. Ya cuando aparecen de nuevo, ya se las sabe. Así que eso puede ayudar en vocabulario. Ahora con traducción, el, el otro problema que a veces pasa de traducir, algo que puede ayudar es, creo que suena algo irónico porque es no tratar de traducir cuando uno está viendo algo. Cuando veo un párrafo uno, 
Por ejemplo, si yo digo hello sin necesidad de traducir, usted ya sabe qué le estoy diciendo. O si yo digo hi, no tiene que traducir porque usted ya sabe. Entonces, lo que puede hacer o lo que uno trata de hacer es como es más de aprenderse estructuras. Es más de aprenderse estructuras y asociar, asociar con imágenes, podría ser. Así como, por ejemplo, que yo diga, I want to go to the beach. Ahora, en vez de traducirlo, solo con ir escuchando las palabras, uno tiene que como más o menos entender. Um, I need something sin traducir, solo luego de decirlo, uno tiene que solo como, I ah, need, yo sé que es need, y ya no traducir, solo quedarse con que uno sabe qué es. Y, y eso, ¿verdad? Porque cuando uno traduce, no sé si ha probado alguna vez Google Translator, pero cuando traduce el, algo, lo traduce literalmente y no es igual. Así que con eso de traducir, Joana, eso le podría decir, o sea, de, de aprenderse estructuras. No sé si se ha fijado que yo recalco en las estructuras, estructura, porque eso es lo que uno tiene que aprenderse. La estructura de español y de inglés no es igual. Uno en español no dice a cada rato yo voy allá y luego yo voy aquí. No dice tanto el sujeto, solo utiliza el verbo. En inglés hay que usar el verbo a cada rato. I go to the beach and then I play. Y siempre menciona el sujeto. Entonces, el punto final de, de lo de traducir podría ser eso. Tratar de no traducir, aprenderse más las estructuras, el uso de cada cosa. Y de ahí solo con el vocabulario. Ya iba armando oraciones. Eso le podría decir. Llega un momento en el que uno ya no traduce. Yo no sé en qué momento lo dejé de hacer. No sé cuándo pasó. No recuerdo. Pero hay un momento en el que ya es como un segundo idioma. Que ya sale como más natural. Pero toma tiempo, Joana. Toma Esa tiempo. Es cuando uno ya está seguro del significado de las palabras, ¿verdad? Ya no uh -huh. necesito estarme recordando de que me la sé o estar como corroborando de que sí es lo que yo recuerdo, sino que ya, ya con esa seguridad quizás uno logra uh -huh. eso, de evitar sí, traducir. la práctica, Ajá, practicarlo, hablarlo mucho. Llega un momento que es como los bebés, ellos no nosotros no aprendimos español con gramática o con clases, sino que fue algo que por irlo hablando, escuchando, relacionando, uno lo aprende. Entonces, entre, entre más empape uno del idioma que quiere, eso va a hacer que, que el cerebro hace sus cosas. Es muy inteligente el cerebro. Nos va ayudando a aprender algo. Entonces, sí, hay que tratarse de empaparse del idioma. Con música, con películas, con, con libros. Y todo eso, poco a poco, va a ir causando un efecto. Y va a ir haciendo que, que aprenda pues más, ¿verdad? La clase siento que es intensiva, son dos horas cada día, dos horas. Entonces, solo estudiar dos horas ya es bastante. Y hacer cosas extra le van a ayudar. Así que esas serían recomendaciones que yo le podría dar, Joan. Pero yo okay. siento que usted va bastante bien, siento que es bien inteligente. A veces siento que este nivel no es para usted que debería de estar en un nivel superior, porque veo que ya puede utilizar past tense o otros tiempos, ¿verdad? No, pero, pero de verdad me ha ayudado bastante, bastante este, este curso, por lo que le dije al inicio. Yo ya había estado en, en un curso, pero era así todo inglés, y uno llega de cero y es así como que no entendió nada. Pero es, uh -huh. que ustedes traduzcan, a veces como que quieren ser bien estrictos cuando no quieren decir nada en español, pero que ustedes uh -huh. digan algo en español le hace a uno saber qué significa. Eso, uh -huh. y a la, por lo menos a mí, la segunda vez que lo dice, yo ya recuerdo que usted nos dijo qué que, que quería decir en español. Uh -huh. Yo ya, la, cuando lo escucho nuevamente en inglés, ya no necesito, ya no necesito porque usted ya, ya lo repitió. Entonces, siento que me ha ayudado bastante realmente. Ah, ok, yo. Pues cualquier comentario y cualquier cosa, pues, me avisa. Porque yo sí, yo sí siento de que, que pues, está bastante alto su nivel de inglés. 
Y la idea es de que siempre el nivel de uno vaya con la clase, ¿verdad? Porque si uno se, está mayor que la clase, uno se va a aburrir en la clase o, o no le va a hallar, ¿verdad? Entonces, si en cualquier momento yo siento que su nivel está bastante bien, le puede ayudar siempre, ¿verdad? Pero sí. cualquier cosa yo, ah, pues ahí, ahí me dice o algo, pues ahí le, le ayudamos. De acuerdo. Gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome, Joa. Vamos a terminar Bye. acá. See you okay. tomorrow. Bye. See you, teacher. Bye. Good night.